Okay, I have this delightful question on, um, you know, like if you, the adverts come on TV, you know, first you see a, a, a suffering animal, then you see people in a third world country who can't uh, have water. Uh, then you see another advert about something else, another advert about something else. So there seems to be endless suffering in the world. Uh, so if I had a limited amount of money, should I just give all my money until I've got no more money and I've given to every single charity I've seen? Um, well, I, I, what comes to mind is one of the things um, Mother Teresa said. So Mother Teresa said um, about this thing of endless suffering in India with all these people is that, um, uh, you know, it's about helping the person who's in front of you and one person at a time. And that, that's the thing. So that was, um, that is a great thing. I mean, with Mother Teresa, it was the mystical. So she was at the level of pure love and service, you know, 100% at, at the level of more or less a, a nearly enlightened sage. So it totally dissolved the ego. They were just a channel of light and love. And, um, you know, funny enough, I think she mentioned or I read somewhere from her, every time someone knocked on her door, there was always enough food in another bed to help that person. So it just shows the, how the, the light she emitted and the universe synchronizing to make sure she could fulfill her soul mission. And uh, it wasn't like her soul mission was to help every single child, but mystically in alignment with spiritual law, I'd say, she, she, did, her, she did what was what, 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 if you like, the highest level of her expression could do in this lifetime. So the thing with, but what, what if you're not sure? What if you're seeing endless charities? Well, Hawkins said something very interesting on charities. You know, every charity, depending on, you know, when you go to a charity, you've got the, the boss, then you've got the staff, then you've got the mission statement of the charity. Now, they, they can be aligned at different levels of consciousness. You know, like if the boss and the mission statement and the people at the top are all aligned with high love and service, then, you know, if you give your money to that charity, it will have a very high, um, a high capacity to dissolve the darkness in this world. But you can have another charity and, uh, and they say we're helping the starving children in, in, in another, in a third world country. And, um, and yet everyone's just taking the money for themselves and nothing's actually going out there or only a token amount. So um, hence the thing of muscle testing, um, like uh, certain, th certain th uh, uh, things are not corrupt and put out a good front. And if you give money, you're actually helping. I would say, for example, 12 step groups. 12 step groups for me would have a high, generally, I mean, not perfect, but generally a higher intention of service and giving than, um, than some other charities which would have a good advert, but would probably very little of the money would go through. So the, the calibration, because there's a lot of hidden dishonesty in that organization, would actually not be being emitted a lot of light, even though you'd be giving them a lot of money. So that's what we call spiritual discernment or muscle testing to give uh, in alignment with the truth of what can have maximum service in the universe and love and light and not to give indiscriminate when you're in the ego and you don't know where you're spending your time and giving into the universe you know you could have like win the lottery and then give it out the next day to a charity and then find out that charity was full of frauds the next day so there's not that spiritual discernment yet in the evolution of that spiritual aspirant uh, so so yes, there has, you know, if, if you, there, there has, you know, as you develop and let go more of the ego, your spiritual intuition, which is not your thinking process or your logic, logic process will go, you know, that advert looks very, you know, all these horrible people are suffering, but my intuition says for some reason, I don't know why, but I don't want to give to this charity. You know, as your spiritual uh, intuition develops, you don't get it when you're, you know, not, not have a good vibration. Um, and, uh, and so, you know, and this is actually happens. I think Hawkins talks about married couples, you know, sometimes the husband will say to the wife, what do you think about this stock and this management company? I mean, he might have, he might be very, very logical, but somehow when she uses her intuition and looks at things, she gets a feeling that it should be, you know, I think that's a good stock. I think you go for that one. 
this and the guy sort of intellectually analyzed it and thought well it seems to be good but she's got a bad feeling and he, she, he gets he gets it right most of the time so that's the spiritual discernment but the ego the more you're in the ego or the less spiritual discernment is the more capacity for making honest errors shall we say okay so i'm gonna 